today is Friday, Saturday, April 5th, 2015. This video is an educational video about your first party, what to do with your first party. You were talking about uh, toilet training, then uh, vaccination and, and microchip. This is a six week old puppy bought from a home breeder. Okay, regarding toilet training, depends on where you live. You live in a house, right? Yeah, in a house. So what do you want to do with this toilet training? Where do you, uh, where do you put the puppy? Is it uh, everywhere? And, uh, in the house. Inside the room? Uh, uh, the whole house. Uh, in the living room, dining uh, room? Uh, uh, yeah. And this puppy will be running everywhere, yeah, right? that's right. And there's no cage for him or playpen? No, no. Uh, so if you do this way, then you have the puppy for many days? Three days? The puppy just bought, uh, just yesterday. I uh, just bought yesterday. Mm -hmm. So when you buy the puppy, the first day actually the most important is put inside a playpen or a cage, yeah. so that the puppy knows where to sleep. They say this tower is to sleep in. This side is to to pass motion, pass yeah. urine, pass water. So this playpen normally they, they sell it in the in the pet shop. Pet shop. Either that or a small carrier or cage, you know, oh, yeah. a cage. Same thing again. This cage has a tray below yeah. where the urine goes in. So the puppy, one side of the cage you put this tower, so he sleeps here. And then the inside the cage, they have the, this wiring fourth floor. Yeah. And the urine <coughs> and the stool will drop in. So the puppy knows he sleeps and eats here for at least two weeks to four weeks. Yeah. So after that, they know already. Then you, op you open the cage and then the puppy comes up and do and play and then goes back to the cage yeah. to, to, to uh, urinate or sleep. So that, that is the way, but if you don't have if we don't do that, if we don't keep the puppy inside the small area, then the puppy will do everywhere, like you said. And then uh, when it's bigger, it's worse because the, the stools are more. Mm -hmm. So now, now since it's the first day, so it's easy for you. Mm -hmm. The best is to buy a cage, huh? mm -hmm. and uh, half of the cage, you put uh, the tower inside, in front the feed bowl, feed bowl and water bowl, or water bottle. Then this side, of course, empty. So that the puppy can go and pee and use it, and uh, most of them will do do, do that. Then uh, the other thing is depends on the breeder. What how she do it? Did you ask the breeder, or the seller? No. Uh, it, huh? it what? All in one. Yeah. Playpen or what? This. Ah, uh, playpen. Play yeah, that one is a bit of fourth thing. Ah, then what? What does she do? Do they? Uh, do they <laughs> uh, you, you ask the. Sometimes you ask them. Do they use newspaper? I think they use uh, newspaper. Uh, if they use newspaper, then you just follow her, what she do, you know. If she use newspaper, so you just duplicate her playpen. It's a four fencing, right? Mm -hmm. And then you just put this puppy in. One side, you put the tower again. Mm -hmm. And of course, newspaper will be on this side. And, and then this puppy already knows what to do, so it goes to newspaper. If some urine, this is a puppy, the urine you put, you put in the newspaper, because this puppy, the urine. So that's the smell, uh, the smell of it. So, so in this case, you follow her method, that is the, the easiest for the puppy. Because the puppy knows already. Uh, so paper training, that is called paper training. The other one just now I spoke to you is called crate training. Because it goes to the, the wire crate and pee and poo. So since she does it that way, you follow most of the exercises too. Then if you want to bring the puppy out, after, after, he, after she pee and poo, then you bring out. Because normally they will poo after eating. Yeah. So how many times you feed her? Uh, two times. Uh, two times. So you, you you put the food there, right? Mm. Then the puppy eat ready. Then you, you don't you don't disturb her. Then she will go and uh, pee and poo, uh, probably in the newspaper. But now she has no newspaper, right? Now it's the whole house. Yeah. Also, it's worse. Uh, um, so put in the cage. Then oh, you have a cage, right? Uh, yeah, but you let her up. Yeah. Uh, most of the time. Uh, and then tie her put back and sleep. Ah, uh, it should be the other way around. Uh, yeah. For the first two to four weeks, she stay inside, especially after eating and drinking. Then, you wanna, uh, after she pee and I mean after she poo already, then you take her out to, to play for a short while, and then you see the puppy turning around, like smelling the the floor. Uh, then you quickly bring her in because she wants to pee or poo. So that depends on whether you have time. Or not. You don't have time then. Uh, you got time, but every time you have to. <laughs> yeah, must watch. Check and watch. Uh, that's right. So that's why I say if you don't have time, so you just take the puppy out to play short while, maybe 10, 15 minutes, put back in again, and then uh, at least the first two weeks, she knows her routine. Uh, then she knows that this is my toilet, this is my sleeping area. Then she learn already. Then it's easier for everybody because after that you just take the paper out, 
build up the fencing, build up the fencing, take the paper out, and then the puppy will go to the paper. Yeah, after that, first of all, you put the puppy in, let's say, a small area like kitchen first, or, or the bathroom first at the beginning, the first two to four weeks. Then she knows, okay, this is my toilet area. Uh, that's how they, they learn. Uh, at, at this age, six weeks is the best time. Uh. Yeah, now it's six weeks. Yeah. Uh, best time. So now I'm going to do a vaccination. Uh. The first vaccination normally is six to eight weeks. Uh. Okay, the first vaccination. It's a nine in one vaccine under the skin. Okay. So after we massage, must massage here. Massage first. So this is the nine in one against this tender virus, bubble virus. The, the liver and kidney diseases. Mm. Now, the best is microchipping, if we can, then uh, next week, then I do. Next week? Yeah. Uh, because of the same, same area. Yeah, okay. The microchip <coughs> is in the same area as uh, the vaccination. Yeah. So, you have time next week? No, I can't. You have, huh? Mm. So, now the puppy is weaned on, on, uh, on the solid food already. So, if she wants to give milk, or not now you can see the color is very good it's pink color mm. so now the, the thing is uh, the thing is the paper training so we just have a quick check there's no skin disease check any skin disease check any diarrhea no diarrhea mm. very good Wait. so if you want to fit milk you have to be careful because sometimes they get diarrhea if you want to fit milk just uh, dilute it off that means not the full so they add milk to the to the dog food. Because she told me just hmm? the dry food soak. So uh, that's the best. Uh. Actually it doesn't need milk anymore. Overall it's okay. Uh. Healthy uh, the puppy. Can you go home maybe? So next week. Uh.